Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Podcast Network Asia. Network Asia. As a Gen Z, millennial, or if you're feeling millennial, browsing through social media has really provided a quick escape from everything, from your ACADs, work, and basically life in general. It really helps break free from stress and the negative vibes. With Globe Prepaid, you can now connect, share, and react more with its Go Plus offers. With just 99 pesos, you can continue browsing and surfing through the internet wherever you go. Go Plus 99 Go Share offers you 16 GB of data that you can use to browse Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even Kumu and House Party for seven days. To register, just dial asterisk 143 hashtag on your mobile phone or download Globe One app or GCash to enjoy the promo. Browsing through social media is now much better with Globe Prepaid's Go Plus 99. Register now. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. My name is Alec Cuenca and I'm your host. And this is our last episode for 2021. And I am so, so excited to talk with you about this episode. My last reminder for all of you guys coming into 2022. I know. I know you're freaking excited. I know you're very hopeful. I know you have a lot of things in your mind. What you want to achieve. Who do you want to become. And this is going to be my final reminder. But before we actually talk about the episode, a few reminders. If you are, um, announcements, I mean, there are a few announcements. If you are on Spotify, please leave the podcast a rating. It really helps the podcast a lot. Or if you're on Apple Podcasts, go ahead and leave this podcast a rating and review. Second is I will be having a workshop called Redefining You. Um, it will be on January 8th. And we will be, it's a workshop on letting go moving on, and growth. So if you want to jumpstart your growth process, come and join us in the workshop. The third announcement and my last announcement is that I will be opening again um, my group coaching sessions that will start on January. It's called The Better Me Project. So if you are interested, go ahead and send me a message on Instagram at Alec Cuenca and I'll help you out. Uh, this is going to be an amazing opportunity for you to ha- find like-minded people who want to improve themselves and also find accountability buddies as well as like the weekly group coaching session. You can ask me any questions there. We can talk about literally anything. Anything. Okay? So, yes, those are the announcements that I have. And... For this episode, I just want to remind you guys that 2022 will be the same as 2021 if you don't change. I have seen a lot of posts. I have seen a lot of tweets and posts and stories that, oh, 2022 will be my year. It's, it's good that they're claiming it to be their year. But my next question is, what is your plan Because if you're just posting out there, if you're tweeting and posting stories and just saying it, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I have fallen into that trap a long, long time ago and say, you know what? This is going to be my year. This is going to be my best year ever. And then one year after, I'm still the t- same person. I'm still in the same place. I'm still unhappy. Um, I'm still dissatisfied. I'm unfulfilled. And I have no purpose. And so it is easy for us to say something and claim something that this is going to be our year. But I want to remind you guys that if your words and your actions are not congruent, are not aligned, then it's a lie. And do you want to lie to yourselves? I don't think so. You really want 2022 to be your year, right? You really want to have a lot of breakthroughs in 2022. And I'm going tell you one thing. That can happen. But you got to make sure that your actions ali- is aligned with your words. And your words is aligned with the mindset that you want to have. And so I am imploring each and every single one of you to make that decision right now. To make a concrete deci- uh, decision 
that will be backed up by plans and actions that you will have the best year of your life. You can have that. I'm not saying that you... Here's, here's one of my problems. A lot of people think that they deserve to have that best year ever. And when I ask them, well, what did you do to deserve them? Because if all you do is complain, blame other people, not be accountable for your actions, not level up your mindset, not read books, and then you're saying that you deserve to have a great year, that's not going to happen. You don't deserve it. We, life doesn't owe us anything, right? Life only owes us a set of opportunities. And if we wake up today and we're listening to this podcast, and that means we have an opportunity to be better. Now, the next question is, what are we going to do with that opportunity? Now, we can be deserving of the best year, of our best year ever, but we need to work hard for it. We need to work hard for us to deserve the things that we want to have. We're all in this life. We're all in this world. And there's no favorite in this game of life. If you want to have your best year ever, then you need to work hard for it. You sow what you reap. That's like the, the, one of the basic um, principles found in the Bible. You sow what you reap. So whatever you are doing, or whoever you are right now, whatever life that you have right now, that's because of the actions that you made before. And a lot of you guys might be offended. I understand. But there's no change that's going to happen unless you change. You change your mindset, you change your words, and you change your actions. Make that decision. Make the decision that you will have your best year ever. And you're going to do that by working hard, by planting the seeds right now. And of course, you need to have a plan, right? And that is something that I'm going to discuss uh, furthermore in the workshop that I'll be having. But in a more general sense, I want you to understand. And I'm, I'm telling you this not because, you know, I've read this somewhere. It's because this is what I use in my life. I remember exactly a year ago, I made a decision. And making a decision is a very, very powerful tool. Because if once you make that decision, you're now um, lifting yourself to the level to become the person that has this kind of success or that has this kind of purpose. And so I made a decision last year. I said to myself, 2021 might not be my year, but I will make sure that I will do my best to put me in the position for it to be my best year ever. And so the first thing that I did was to actually make that decision. And once I made that decision, and you know what decision is that? The decision to be committed. Some people, they just kind of want it to be their best year ever. And if they don't have it, okay, they can try again next year. But life doesn't work that way. If you are going to bargain and you're going to be like half-assed, you know, you're going to be 50-50, okay, I want this to be my best year ever, but it's okay, then chances are you're living it to chance. You're leaving it to life, to the situations. You're going to have that 50-50. But if you have that desire, that decision to be committed, that you won't stop and you will do whatever it takes, whatever it costs, for you to have your best year ever, then I am assuring you 100% chance you can have it. You can have it. It all started with me making a decision last year, December 2020. And I said, 2021 is going to be my year because I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I won't stop until I have this. These are my goals. These are my plans. And I'll see it through. And I started working on it. And up until September, where I, when I reached all of my goals, I said to myself, wow, it is possible. Just give yourself six to eight months to change your life around, to completely turn your life around. But it starts with a decision to be committed. So are you going to be committed in 2022? Or are you just going to let life happen? Life will continue to happen. There are things out, out of your control, but there are certain things that you can control. And in those factors that you have control over, that can dictate the success that you will have in the next year. After I made a decision to be committed, like there's no going back. I burned the bridge. We can't go back. I burned the boats. We can't sail back to where we, we used to be, uh, where we used to be before. 
There's no going back. The promise of the future is very, very powerful. And so after I made a decision to not look back, look at myself where I am right now, the next thing I did is I looked at the promise of the future. I used my imagination. I asked myself, well, what do I want in life? And here comes the goal setting. So the first one is make a decision. The second one is to write down your goals. And I'm saying this as, um, you know, I said, write down. Don't just think, no, I have this goal in mind. If you're not, if it's not on a piece of paper, then it's not real. It's not true. One thing that continuously improves my life is being connected online. Imagine all the tips and stories that other people share on social media can be beneficial in our daily lives. And of course, vice versa. I can share moments and stories online too in order to help others as well. Good thing I don't need to worry about sharing my day anytime and anywhere because I have Globe Prepaid's Go Plus 99 with GoShare promo. With a total of 16 GB of data, you can now have 8 GB for all the sites you need and 8 GB for your social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Kumu, Snapchat, and House Party. Not just that, because you also get unlimited text to all networks valid for seven days. All you need to do is grab your mobile phones right now, head on to the new Globe One app, Gcash app, or by dialing asterisk 143 hashtag on your mobile phones to quickly register on Go Plus 99. Just keep on sharing through Globe Prepaid's Go Plus 99 with GoShare promo. Register now. I love lists. I love writing down goals because a part of it is, you know, a part of it, having that list of the joy of having or creating that list is checking them off. It helps with my self-esteem. It helps with my confidence and I can track my progress. And so how can you get to a better place if you don't know what that better place looks like? So set down goals, write down your goals on a piece of paper. And if you're writing it on a piece of paper, that means you're committed. If you're just thinking about it, then you are like 50-50 on it. You're not even sure if you really want it. But if you are sure with it, write it down. There's a whole science about writing down goals, and I'll, I'll discuss that in the, in the next episodes. But you got to be committed. And if you can't be committed by writing down your goals, getting a piece of paper, getting a piece of uh, a ball pen, and write it down, and just say that, well, I, I can, I'll just start thinking about it every single day. If you can't make or have that discipline to even get a piece of paper and write it down, how do you think that you're gonna year is, uh, your, your year is going to end up? If you're not willing to do what you haven't done before, then how can you expect yourself to level up? How can you expect yourself to live a life that is different from the one that you have right now? The things that you have done before have put you in, in your current situation. So if you want to level up, then you need to level up your actions as well. You need to level up your commitment as well. And just by getting that piece of pen or piece of paper and a pen, that shows your, commit, um, your, your commitment. So pause this one. And if you get, get the point, if you get the message, then pause this one and write down your goals. If you know how to write goals, right? But it's really important that you have a goal in mind. What I did back then, a year ago, is I said to myself, well, what do I want to have? I said, I wanted a car and I wanted a MacBook. Four months later, I had a car and I had a MacBook. How? The how wasn't really that important. I made a decision, I wrote down my goals, and the hows kept on coming my mind was suddenly open for opportunities because I know that I have written a goal down and I have made a commitment. And so I now see an abundance of opportunities that can lead me to that, to me be or having the things that I wanted. The hows will follow. If your what and why is clear, the how will follow. Of course, you need to still have a plan. Of course, you need to still have a plan. But in creating a plan, it re requires patience. Sometimes plan Z will work. But in order for you to get to plan Z, you need to go through plan A, plan B, plan C, and so on and so forth. You still need to make a plan. That's the third step. Okay, The first one, make a commitment. Second one, write down your goals. Third one is make a plan. 
if you have a goal in mind, say, I have a car. I want to have a car. Turn that into a question. Okay? Get another piece of paper and then turn that into a question. How can I get a car? And that is an open-ended question. It doesn't just mean work overtime, um, you know, or work um, longer in, in your job, do more of your job. That can help, right? But it's an open-ended question, which means that it's not just bounded by your work. You can, you know, try side hustles or um, uh, find people that can help you out with it. So ask yourself, how can I have that car? And write down 20 things that you can do. And here's where the ideas are going to come from. You realize you can do a lot of things for you to achieve those goals. And so create your plan A. Figure out how much you're going to make from that. That's not going to cover? Okay, write another, uh, write another thing down. How can I um, achieve that car? Maybe you could try um, buy and sell. Try working for another job. Try, I don't know, investing in crypto or, in, or something like that. But the, the, the ideas will flow once you made that decision and once, you're clear, uh, once, you're, once you are clear with your goals. Last year, when I wrote my goal was to have a car, a MacBook, I wrote down the estimates, how much I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need. And then I wrote down different ways on how I could do it. Like all the possibility, possible things that I could do in life for me to earn, I wrote it down. I'm not closing my door on anything. I don't know how to um, sell shirts, sell my merch. That's okay. I'm still going to write it down. I might get another job. I don't know what job is that. I'm still going to write it down. You need to open yourself to different possibilities because that's when the ideas will come. Once you have that, try it out. If it works, good. If it, it doesn't work, adjust. Go through the different plans that you're making. The plan doesn't need to be very, very sound, but it needs to have an initial standpoint on, on how you can step forward with your goal. And the plan is basically breaking down your goals into small steps, into the smallest step possible. What are you going to do today that can help you move forward with your goals? That's the plan. Plan it, uh, for example, your goal is to, after one year, I'm going to have a car. Break it down into months. What do you need to do in one month for you to become closer to that goal? How much do you need? And what are the things that you can do for you to have that? Become closer to that. And then break it down into weekly. In this week, what do you need to accomplish for you to, to, to be able to hit that month? And break it down into, one, uh, into days. What do you need to do today? for you to come closer, for you to achieve that weekly goal or milestone and then monthly milestone and then eventually hit that goal that you want to have. My reminder, my final reminder for you guys is, because I know I can, I know you can. If I can do it, someone who didn't have um, a degree, someone who didn't have um, an emotion, a, a background on um, making money, I didn't have parents to support me, um, you know, in terms of like giving me finances to start my own business, to give me advice on how to earn money. I, I didn't have that. I, I'm just from Olongapo City, Zambales. I didn't, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. Nobody in my family was doing business. I, I didn't have any support or resources, but I still can do it. And if I can do it, I promise you that you can. If I can do it, anybody could do it. And I'm sharing with you these things for you to understand that you can make it happen. Whatever you want, don't limit yourself. In writing down your goals, don't limit yourself. Whatever you want to have, write it down. Whatever you want to see, whatever place you want to visit, write it down. Nothing is impossible for someone who is committed, who is clear on what, it, what, um, what he wants, and who has a plan. You can do it. I know you can. So maybe it's time that you know it too. I believe that you can do it. And maybe it's time that you believe it too. 
Hey, it's Julianne, also known as Yen. You might know me from TikTok, where I post content about wisdom, wellness, and stories to inspire. Join me in my podcast at Journey with Julianne for even more content on how both you and I can nourish our mind, body, and spirit on this journey called life. I look forward to growing with you. Listen to Journey with Julianne whenever you listen to your podcast. Check me out after listening to this one. And so that is my final episode for 2021. Thank you so much for joining me in a year of growth. And hopefully in the next year, we'll have more. I pray that 2022 will be the year that you deserve. And if you want it to be the best year, then you got to be your best. Be committed, write down your goals, and make a plan. And I'm so excited to see all of your success in the next year. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate all of you guys. You have you have a very special place in my heart. If you like this episode, go ahead and share this episode on social media, on Instagram. Don't forget to tag me at Small Talk Podcast. I really love re- reading all of your insights and your comments and your messages as well. So thank you, thank you so much for them. And don't worry, we'll have more episodes in the next year. I'll probably go back to three episodes a week. And of course, please, please, please join the Better Me Project if you want more in-depth stuff of the things that I talk about here in the podcast. So thank you so much. My name is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. And I'll talk to you guys next episode. Bye-bye. The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia, the hosts of the program, or other programs of the network. Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.